So today we're going to be doing the one em away all day long challenge again, and today we're going to be doing it with this. This is my Springfield Waypoint 2020. Uh, it is a six and a half pound gun as outfitted. It actually weighs in at just exactly nine pounds, <clears throat> and it has a Vortex Venom 3 to 15 first focal plane scope in an Aero lightweight mount, MDT carbon fiber bipod, and a Yankee Hill Machine resonator K. Uh, this is an awesome gun. I feel very confident with it. I went out and did some shooting with it this past weekend, and I feel like I can really do that one MOA all day gun challenge. And we're going to be shooting Hornady Black. Now, this gun is chambered in 6mm Creedmoor, uh, which is a caliber that I think is very suiting for an ultralight gun like this. Um, like I said, I took this gun out this past weekend, was making very consistent hits out at 500, 550 yards. Uh, and I just feel like this gun has the legs to go the distance. So what we're going to do now is uh, get out to my local range, which is Pima Pistol Club, set up at 100 yards, and we're going to see if we can't stack all 10 rounds in a one-inch group. All right, here we are. Target's nice and clean. Nothing on it. I guess we're going to aim for... Um, I guess we'll just hold for the center and, uh, and see how it goes. Yeah, okay, there's the target out there. It's a little hard to see against the backdrop, but we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get started. Two. Oh, got a little waddle in the bipod here. Mm -hmm. Tighten that up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, should be the last round, I think it is. Oh, I think I threw that very last one low left. No. Well, results are in. 
That is a bummer. Let's see how close we were. One, two, three, four, five. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't very good. Nine shot group was awesome. I didn't do it. It's not part of the challenge. There's no flyers, there's no do-overs. Ah, review bro, how we doing? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Yeah, me too. Well, was not able to do the one MOA all day challenge. And I'd just like to start by saying it 100% was not the equipment. It was me. And it's really, really frustrating because that's the whole point of this exercise, isn't it? It's to test not just the equipment, but ourselves as the shooters. And I was feeling so confident going into this challenge because I just came back from a range trip with this gun where it was like any target, 100 yards, 500 yards, almost 600 yards, not a problem at all. Um, and I guarantee if I'd gone out further, it would have felt the same. So knowing that the equipment is absolutely capable of the performance and that I'm the weak link, it's just something that is, it's a hard pill to swallow. And the worst part, the worst part by a lot, is that it wasn't until literally the very last round that was fired that I was not gonna be in the challenge. So I'll get the paper out, we can look at it, um, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you can see I've got that one flyer uh, on the target actually, it was low left here. Um, this is the 10th round. This nine shot group here, the first nine rounds that I fired measures 0 0.87 MOA. Well within the one MOA all day. And it's just so frustrating to me that I could see through the scope, through the glass, that I was on track, or at least gonna be really close. And after about the seventh round, I could see that, oh my gosh, like I'm well, you know, either at or inside of that one MOA. And I pressed the eighth round, and I pressed the ninth round, and on that tenth round, I just, I got too excited. I got too excited with the fact that I, I thought I was done. I, I didn't account for the fact that I still had to make that last trigger press. I still had to press that last good shot, and it cost me. Um, and I ended up sending this one low left. The final group ended up being 1.48 MOA, so not horrible, but double what Springfield claims that this gun is capable of with match ammunition. And, you know, yes, I wasn't shooting match ammunition. Doesn't matter. I know what this gun can do with that Hornady Black stuff. I've printed a .34 MOA group with the Hornady Match stuff at 200 yards. Granted, that was only a three-round group. Still. So, to know that all I had to do as the shooter was press that last good shot and this would have been a totally different video is really, really frustrating. But again, that's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Um, this, this challenge isn't just about the equipment. This challenge is about us as the shooter as well. So I'm, in a lot of ways, while I'm frustrated with myself, I'm so happy that the gun did exactly what I wanted it to do. If I had done my part, the gun is going to do its. And that, um, as a long range precision shooter, is really confidence inspiring to know that I'm the weak link. It's not that I need a better scope. It's not that I need better ammo or a better barrel or a better suppressor or blah, blah, blah. I know what this gun is capable of. I know that 90% of the time I'm a one MOA shooter and that the gun is a sub MOA gun. It's me. I'm the weak link and that's something that I can fix. It's gonna take time and it's gonna take practice and it's gonna take effort and it's gonna cost money because I'm gonna have to shoot ammo. But you know what? Being a one MOA shooter all the time instead of just 90% of the time is something that I wanna to work towards. That's an important skill for me. Very happy with the results the gun is capable of. Very disappointed with the results that I'm capable of. So I will try this again in the future uh, just for fun after I kind of lick my wounds and think about how horrible I've done. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. That's it, until next time.